my healthcare brothers and sisters as well as my pre-healthcare professionals alike. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we are continuing on with our series and we're going to start discussing English and language usage review pronouns. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet, hit that bell notification. It lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube. Give this video a big thumbs up, that way it lets other people know that this is a good review video for the ATIT's exam and helping you pass it like a boss. Pronouns are words that are used to refer to nouns. Usually a pronoun will be given after a noun has already been given in the sentence or paragraph. The noun that the pronoun refers to is called the antecedent. For example, Jennifer is a vegetarian, so she will order a non-meat entree. In this example, the pronoun she is used to refer to Jennifer. Jennifer is the antecedent to the pronoun. Similarly, in the following sentence, the pronoun him is used to refer to George. George is the antecedent of the pronoun. For example, George loves all the gifts that the bowling team gave him. In the following example, the pronoun there is used to refer to the Rudolphs. The Rudolphs is the antecedent in the sentence. The Rudolphs have an apple tree in their backyard. When a pronoun is used, it must be used in its correct form. Pronouns can act as subjects doing the action, they can act as objects receiving the action, and they can show possession. In the following sentence, the pronoun she is used as the subject. She is completing the action or ordering, so the subjective form of the pronoun is used correctly. For example, Jennifer is a vegetarian, so she will order a non-meat entree. This is correct. It wouldn't sound right to use an object form of the pronoun in this sentence. For example, Jennifer is a vegetarian, so her will order a non-meat entree. Doesn't sound right, does it? It's incorrect. Instead, the object form should be used when the pronoun is receiving the action of the verb. For example, Jennifer is a vegetarian, so the waiter brought her a non-meat entree. That sounds much better. I've included a list of subjective, objective, and possessive forms of pronouns for your review. So let's take a look. First person subjective pronouns, I, we. First person objective pronouns, me, us and first person possessive pronouns, my, mine, are, and ours. Second person subjective pronouns, you. Second person objective pronoun, you. Second person possessive pronoun, your or yours. And lastly, third person subjective pronoun, he, she, it, and they. Third person objective pronouns, him, her, it, and them. And third person possessive pronouns, his, her, its, their, and theirs. Pronouns can show both gender and number. In other words, they can be masculine, feminine, and they can be singular or plural. Pronouns should match their antecedent in both respects. If a noun is singular female, the pronoun should be singular female as well. If a noun is plural neutral, the pronoun should be plural neutral as well, and so on. For example, George loves all the gifts that the bowling team gave him. In this sentence, the antecedent George is masculine and singular. The pronoun him is also masculine and singular. In the following example, the antecedent the Rudolphs is plural. The pronoun there is also plural. The Rudolphs have their apple tree in their backyard. And lastly, the following example shows an example of a gender neutral antecedent, the table. The table has no gender, so it is referred using the gender neutral possessive pronoun its. The table was polished to show off the beautiful grain of its wood. In cases where a single person is being discussed but the person's gender has not been made clear, the singular pronoun phrase he or she should be used. For example, each camper must make sure that he or she packs enough warm clothes for the week. This is correct. In this example, 
Each camper is the antecedent. This antecedent is singular and the gender is not clear. The phrase he or she is used correct to refer back to each camper. It may be tempting to use the pronoun they when the gender of a singular antecedent is not specified. However, this is incorrect. The word they is a plural pronoun, so it should not be used with singular antecedents. For example, each camper must make sure that they pack enough warm clothes for the week. This is incorrect. It would be correct to use they if the antecedent was also plural as in the sentence below. For example, all campers must make sure that they pack enough warm clothing for the week. This is correct. Pronoun questions on the T's also test relative pronouns, who, which, and that, and the correct usage of who versus whom. Regarding these pronouns, there are two points to keep in mind. Principal Smith is the one who ordered the extra copies. This sentence is correct. Principal Smith is the one that ordered the extra copies. This is incorrect. In this sentence, Principal Smith is the antecedent. Since Principal Smith is a person, the pronoun who would be used. It's important to note, the relative pronoun who is always used to refer to people, whereas which is and that are always used to refer to things. Here's another example of relative pronouns that refer back to things. To Kill a Mockingbird is a book that I told you about. This is correct. To Kill a Mockingbird is the book whom I told you about. This is incorrect. The book To Kill a Mockingbird is a thing. Here's another set of examples. The teacher is a knowledgeable instructor who truly cares about her students. This is correct. The teacher is a knowledgeable instructor whom truly care about her students. This is incorrect. These sentences use relative pronouns to refer back to the noun the teacher. In this case, the teacher is performing the action. She truly cares about her students. Because she is performing the action shown by the verb cares, the pronoun who should be used. The following example shows a relative pronoun used as the direct object of an action. In this case, the pronoun whom should be used. Here, Carol performed the action of speaking. The person to whom she spoke was the recipient of her action. Carol was not sure to whom she was speaking. This is correct. Carol was not sure to who she was speaking. This is incorrect. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you head over to my website at www.nursechung.com where there are additional resources related to the topics that we discuss here in these videos. Make sure you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, as well as here on YouTube. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will speak with you all again soon in our next video. Bye.